Bonjour everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump right into it, I thought that I would start this video with a little bit of an explanation. I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys and wanted to say that Sal and I decided to go home to my family this winter. Because of the pandemic, I have not been able to see my family for a year. So when the occasion came up, Sal and I decided that we would take all the measures for me to spend time with my family. So we decided to do it. I feel very privileged that we have access to all these resources and we're able to follow these guidelines. I know it's not everyone's position at the moment, so I want to make sure that I don't come off as tone deaf. I'm super grateful that we're able to do that and to be as safe as possible. We've gotten tested multiple times before and after traveling. We follow local guidelines. We've been in isolation. We wear our mask religiously, wash our hands, and do everything that we can to be as safe as possible. And now that we're done with this isolation and have a negative COVID test, we've decided to take a few few days in order to celebrate New Year's Eve, just the two of us. So I feel like it kind of became a tradition for us to celebrate New Year's Eve together on my YouTube channel. We did it in Paris two years ago, which was our first New Year's Eve together, and then in Berlin last year. So I thought that I would take you guys for the next few days along with us. By the time I post this video, it's probably going to be 2021 already. Well, yeah, it has to be. So I want to say happy 2021. I hope everyone is excited for the new year, is prepared, is motivated, and will have a better year than last year. Today is December 29, 2020, and we woke up pretty late as per usual since we've been in Europe because we decided to not get rid of our jet lag for no reason. Sal's working out at the moment. I'm just getting ready. I showered, and we're just gonna go and walk around and have some lunch probably because it's already lunchtime. <laughs> All the restaurants are still closed because of lockdown so we just got a sandwich to go and we're eating while we're walking and right now we are at the reformation wall which is a monument that was built for the protestant reformation i just learned how to pronounce protestant <laughs> We are back in the hotel room. We spent the day walking around. It was really cold. We did some shopping for South's family. We saw some monuments. We went to the United Nations, took the tram, tramway. How do you say that in English? The train. But now we've been back in the hotel room. Sal has been doing some work on his computer and I've been trying to film some TikToks. I really want to try and get more active on TikTok in 2021. That's actually one of my New Year's resolutions. So I had a few that I had drafted that I wanted to do and a few sounds saved. So I've been doing that, which is why I'm shirtless, of course. <laughs> Talking about resolutions, I kind of want to spend some time talking about have I reached my goals for 2020 because to be accountable for it, I posted them on Instagram last year and then I want to talk about my 2021 goals. Probably do that tomorrow though because I don't feel like it right now. We are probably going to grab dinner at some point thinking we either do takeout like we did yesterday and just bring it back to the hotel room or get it delivered. I have a couple of recommendations that my friend sent me of restaurants around here so just going to be a food in bed and movie kind of night. So we just got back from picking up Chinese takeout for dinner. The hotel that we're staying at actually gave us a gift card of 100 francs to be spending on two local restaurants and shops in order to make sure that the economy keeps going because the city and the area relies on tourism a lot and because of COVID and the pandemic and lockdown hasn't been having a lot of tourists. So we just used that. We didn't use the whole 100 francs. So we just gave the rest as a tip and we're about to eat and watch the flight attendant the flight attendant which we started a few weeks ago but we were really high and I don't think I remember what it even is about um, I don't do drugs
Okay, so after a little bit of a train ride, we just arrived in Stad, which is in the Swiss mountains, and also the place where we're gonna be spending New Year's Eve. And we just got into a room, and the view is just so beautiful, I have to show you. <laughs> Hello, hello. So we've just been chilling in our room, but I just realized that I said yesterday that I would go over my 2020 goals and 2021 goals today. So I pulled up my list of 2020 goals that I actually had posted on Instagram last year. So let's go through it and see what I did or didn't do. So the first one, drink more water, one gallon a day. I've been doing that pretty well up until like, we left LA actually, but I've been pretty consistent in drinking. Treat myself more and stop being afraid of spending. I think I've definitely done that. Either small purchases like clothes or big treats. I bought my first car this year. Work out at least four times a week. I slept a little bit lately because gyms are closed because of COVID, but when they were open, I used to go like almost every day. Stop skipping leg day. Let's skip that one. <laughs> Post more LGBTQ plus advice and experience related content. So I did that on YouTube with my Pride series and also started an Instagram series called Gay Shit. Share my feelings and thoughts instead of getting upset. I've gotten better at voicing my feelings and opinions for sure, even though that's still a work in progress. Start going to therapy again. I did not do that. Learn how to cook at least five healthy dishes. Did not do that. Avoid getting frustrated, condescending when someone doesn't understand something. We we are working on it. So, stop. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those were my goals for last year. So let's look at what I wrote down for 2021. Learn how to make five healthy dishes. This time I'm gonna have to. Sal's not gonna be with me for a big chunk of 2021. So I'm gonna have to cook for myself. Reduce dairy and meat intake. I have just been noticing that my diet and especially dairy and meat have been messing up with my body. So I wanna limit that and also the environmental impact. Keep drinking water. One gallon a day. I think that's doable. Work out at least four times a week. That was my goal last year. I want to keep up with that. Start going to therapy because I didn't do it last year. Work on slash launch a project that I started working on a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully we'll work a lot on it and launch it this year. Post at least three videos a month on YouTube and then one TikTok a week. <laughs> you know what the last one is? I wrote down stop ordering salmon pasta. Whenever we go to an Italian restaurant, I see like salmon pasta and I don't know why I always order it because I think it makes me look cool and I always hate it. So yeah, no, no salmon pasta for me this year. Okay, so that's about it for my goals this year. We're just gonna go have a little drink, probably order some takeout or something to eat. And I also want us to play this game called Best Self Intimacy. It's a game that I saw on TikTok. It was just like couples and best friends playing it and it's supposed to like help spark some intense conversations. Okay, that's it.
video skiing and exploring the center of Stad. This place is absolutely beautiful and we're now just having dinner. We're having a fondue for two. I know I said I was gonna stop eating dairy but it's still 2020. And we're in these beautiful little igloos is what they call them. They're just little bubbles that we can have dinner outside and there's Christmas trees outside and lights and it's just the two of us and it's the cutest thing. So here we have Salut. Cheers. Okay, so I obviously dropped the filming and the vlog last night, but I guess this happened. I said I wouldn't cry. I just thought that I would have a little word right now because it probably came as a surprise to people watching. It definitely came as a surprise to me. I'm, I'm like not realizing it. I am super incredibly grateful. Sal managed to turn a night that was supposed to be just like a chill New Year's because obviously of restrictions and it was supposed to be calm and nothing major and then I guess this happened. It was such a perfect magical night. The dinner, the time we spent together, the things we told each other and then obviously him fucking proposing to me. And I can't believe it's happening. I can't believe it happened. Oh my god, I'm so cringy right now. <laughs> I'm just really happy. <laughs> After the proposal, we spent the night talking and we FaceTime my family, his family, my friends, and then we just stayed up a little bit longer and then that's it. That was our night and I'm just really grateful and I think that was the perfect way to end 2020 in such a perfect way to start 2021. This is a New Year's vlog, so I guess it brings it to an end. So I just want to say thank you for tuning in and thank you so much for this year on YouTube and for everyone who supports me, whether that's here or on any other platform that I have. On that note, I hope that your 2021 is filled with joy and happiness and success. And I guess I will see you very soon for a new video. I'm a little lost. <laughs> Like, what happened? <laughs> okay, bye, I love you.